October 30th, 2006. Be digging the pits in the morning. The owner of the rig called today, said they are going to be starting to show up on location tomorrow. Should be rigging up by Wednesday and starting to drill. Trick or treat! We got a stake location. We got, ooh, something scary. Half. That's the cellar. That's the cellar where we're gonna be dig, uh, drilling the well. Branch going out to the working pits. Rough next up there, digging up over here to our reserve pit. Thursday, November 2nd, rigging up to drill the number one brown. There's our first load of drilling mud, which is actually a chemical. That's one of the bigger expenses for the well after paying for the rig. Well, here we are over at the number one Basto, backfilling the pits from last year.
Friday, November 3rd, 2.43 p.m. We're waiting on a bell sub to show up. We had to get one out of Oklahoma City. When that shows up, they should be able to get her, get her spudding. Okay, we're here uh, Saturday afternoon. We're getting ready to cement the surface casing in place and uh, that'll set up for about eight hours and then we'll be able to go back to drilling. We've got United Surface or Cementing Company here. Doing the cementing work. Those pipes that you see there are actually the surface casing that will be cemented in the hole. What that does is protect all the fresh water zones and that will stay in the hole no matter what happens. Saturday night, we got our surface casing set. We'll be waiting about another six hours for that cement to set up before we can go back to drilling. Nice pretty moon behind the rig there, folks. Beautiful night, probably about 60 degrees, no wind. Sunday evening, we uh, drained our pond dry water, so we had to hustle around and find somewhere to get a truck to haul water. And uh, this is our first load of fresh water out of my pond just a mile north of here. Okay, now that we hurdled that obstacle, let's uh, go on in and see how deep they are right now. <laughs> 